Pruitt, however, is immensely motivated, as we saw at the IROC race at Riverside, where he shouldered uh, Chip Robinson aside to take the lead. And speaking of working for a pass, Bobby Unser, this is coming to the white flag. Bobby Rahal chased by Terry Labonte. Yeah, and here's Labonte trying to get underneath, and he just barely... Now, Ray Hall was sliding around. He was a little bit loose coming off, and Labonte just tapped him. And I really, Sam, have to change my think thinking just a little bit on that because I think Ray Hall really started losing it before Terry actually touched him, don't you? Watch Bodine as he makes his turn in a very fast section of the course, loses the back end, slides all the way across, and catches the barrier with the right side of the car. As the cars begin to get off the course, you can see the dust obscures the vision. Now, Earnhardt is spinning in front of him, but just now, Elliott catches his first glimpse, and he was a very busy man in the cockpit trying to keep that car under control and out of harm's way. It is Pruitt and Guerrero battling for second as Scotty Pruitt forces Guerrero off to the outside. Guerrero getting off the course, but several cars go by. Bodine just gets past. Guerrero still trying to find some traction on the pavement and loses it totally on board. He just wasn't stable enough to come back on the course when he did. And Dale Earnhardt loses it as he slides sideways on the course as dust drifts away. Now that the dust flies down there, you can't see it. The cars are all over. But what happens is, is that when you get off the dirt, you're better off just to leave it alone and forget your position and come back on the best you can. Now we have some more cars pitting. There's Chris Cord off the course and oh, man. slams into Earnhardt. Now, obviously just a slick area, which may account for Earnhardt's spin there. And then Cord passed Earnhardt. Guerrero came charging up through the field and tagged Earnhardt. So 